And as previously, we assembled the crank and the pistons, of course, basically the whole bottom end. And naturally, next is we prepared the head, but after cleaning it up, we actually did install the head to cam degree the B18C1 GSR cams. So, we will be surprised, or will we be surprised about what we find here? Hmm, maybe. And also, we will show you a sneak peek on the stuff that we're doing, like this, to improve the current state of the B20 VTEC. So, hey, this is gonna be fun. So, sit back and let's go and enjoy this. Come on. <laughs> Okay, first things first, we're replacing the ITR manifold with this Kung 2 Pro Series ported intake manifold and we're actually porting it to our updated specifications of ported manifold or as far as porting the manifold go. And of course, as we did that, we also did this, we did a cleanup of the current PR3 head of Mac, Max B20 VTEC, the owner of this engine, we did cleanup and after that, of course we did this. We washed up and cleaned up the head and assembled the valves with checking springs and of course locked the VTEC to be able to cam degree the GSR cams. And you can see the cam gears are legit skunk to Pro Series cam gears. And so that's on zero settings and we're gonna degree the GSR cams and so to find out the specifications of all of this. So let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go to the desk and let's make sure everything is prepped and ready to write on. Okay, there I pre-wrote all the markings, all, all, all the places we're going to write the numbers. So now let's go back to the engine stand and here you can see, wait, there it's top dead and everything is zero, including the cam gears. Look at this. Let me show you. Look at the exhaust. Wait, let's focus, focus. There, it's zero. Yep. And then the degree wheel with focus there, it's top dead. All right, so let's start with the intake now. The opening figures, and we stop at 0 0.050. Here we go, it's after the exhaust. So we keep going, keep going. Yep, and come on, it's getting there. There, the intake. Okay, look at that part, they're starting to move. Okay, we stop at 50 there oops my pen okay okay wait let me just unclip the phone and show you guys okay there it's 50 and it's it's 5 btdc all right so let's go to the desk and write it down okay it's five before top dead center all right Okay, now let's go back to the engine stand and check for the closing point. Okay, we keep going. Yep. Yep. There you go. And come on, keep going, keep going. Okay, that was the maximum lift. Okay, I wrote that down. I remember that. All right. Okay, we keep going. Come on, come on, switch arms. I double check the lift later off camera. So, okay, there. Okay, 0 0.050. So let's see, it's 0 0.050. And okay, it's 41. After bottom dead center. Okay, let's write this down. And then we head off back to the engine stand for the exhaust. Yeah. All right, here we are. That's the exhaust. Yep. Okay, we go turn it. On the opening, we stop at 0 0.050. All right, we keep going, it's getting there. Come on, come on. Wait, there you go. Okay, there, it's moving now. We stop at 0 0.050. There, all right, yeah. Okay, let's unclip the phone and show you guys. There's 0 0.050. 
and you have one, two, three, okay, 35 before bottom dead center. Okay, let's go to the desk. Let's write this down, all right? It's 35 before bottom dead center. All right, let's go again. Yep, okay, for the last time, we go for the closing now. All right, we keep going. Go to the max lift and then keep going again and then stop at the closing point at 0 050. All right. There you go. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Now I went over it. Don't reverse the turn. Don't turn it clockwise. Keep going counterclockwise because the belt stretch and all that will change the readings all the way. So since I went over it, we go for another full turn, all right? There you go. And then you do it again to be able to stop at point zero fifty. Don't turn it around clockwise because it might change the readings, you know? Okay, here. All right, there you go, it's point zero fifty. And it's seven after top dead center. All right, let's go. Okay, so we write that down. It's seven after top dead center. All right. Now let's calculate the duration. So five plus 41, that's 226 degrees at 0 050 duration. All right, there you go. And then the lift is 0 0.4112. Oh, sorry, sorry. 0 0.412 inches. All right. Now let's go to the exhaust, 35 plus seven plus 180, that's 222 degrees duration at 0 0.050 inches. All right, that's the duration. And then it's 0 0.372 valve lift. There you go. All right, yep, and now we get to have the other list from the one previously. Okay, now you guys can write this down and remember the specs of the GSR cams, yeah. So it's 0.412 inches valve lift, 226 degrees duration at 0 0.050 on the intake and on the exhaust is 0 0.372 inches valve lift and 222 degrees duration at 0 0.050. And the valve lifts are in inches, of course, obviously, all right? Now let's go with the lobe centers. And as you remember, the Skunk 2 adjustable cam gears are set to zero, so let's calculate the lobe centers and go from there. All right, let's go for that. Okay, now here we are with 226 degrees duration divided by two, and then we subtract the five of the opening of before top dead center, that's 108 lobe center, all right? So now let's head to the exhaust. It's 222 divided by two, so that's 111. Subtract seven of the after top dead center, we get 104 lobe center. So it's 108 lobe center on the intake and 104 lobe center on the exhaust, all right? Yep. And remember, this is the adjustable cam gear set on zero. So of course, on the next episode, when we start assembling for the final time, we're gonna show you what we changed on that. As far as lobe centers go and the changes on the setup and the reason why we're porting a Skunk 2 Pro series intake manifold for this, all right? Now, as you can see, cam degreeing is quite important. And you notice we never mention what we set the cam gears are or on because each engine, each resurfacing level of the head and block and the brand of cam gears will change what certain degrees there are they are on the cam gear itself but when you degree it via lobe center like this it doesn't matter what brand cam gear you have or how much milling the head has or the block because you get the correct lobe center when you shoot for it on you you adjust the, the, the cam gear to give you the lobe center that you need right and you can click here if you haven't seen this, or actually it's gonna be in the description below. This is the how-to 
cam degree video that we did last year and we used the skunk 2 pro 2 cams on this on the b20 vtech that we were building back then and you can see and understand all about cam degreeing and it's important to watch that for you guys to understand this even better and of course if you guys remember a few weeks ago we degreed a ctr cam and a b16a cam and we compared them both and that's going to be in the description below instead of just clicking up here but of course that one this already gives us a surprise on the gsr cams on this gsr cams right that's cool and also on this part of the volumetric efficiency here once again this will be in the description below you can watch this video all about the volumetric efficiency and the crankcase breather this is to let us know why we opt to put a plug at the back of the b20 block because it actually doesn't have a breather fitting or a breather plug behind the block and here let me show you hold on here let me show you behind we take this allen plug out and put the breather feet thing on it this way the crankcase evacuation is working properly and here you can see we actually remove the oil the allen plug for the oil passageway to clean it really good before final assembly yep there's gonna be a good engine for sure and also this one here the skunk 2 pro series intake manifold is receiving the latest iteration of our ported intake manifold because you know as the years go by we try to keep developing a, an even better approach to porting an intake manifold so hey this is hopefully going to do a lot better than previously all right so basically what we're shooting for on this b20 vtech is that because it's an oem gsr cam we want to see how much more we can max out as far as the power goes this way it's a fun little thing because you know it's like a minimized aftermarket components but you're still making more power and i hopefully people get to see what it takes to squeeze every single horsepower from the engine efficiently and properly so yeah it's gonna be fun right and it also runs a type r41 copy header so you know this is gonna be a torque monster indeed for a street car that's oem that's gonna be so good right and on the end screen of this video we'll have a playlist of all the shop work that we do because you know that's what's good for you right and also once episode four is done you can definitely click right here